I don't care about tragedies all over the world because I can't. <clears throat> Some people claim to care about all injustices, but what does that even mean? To care means to give serious attention or consideration applied to doing something correctly, or to avoid damage or risk to said thing. If you acknowledge that the serious problems in this world require labor-intensive solutions, how can you care about everything? In a world where we acknowledge the importance of commitment and discipline, we also apparently have people who believe they can be committed to everything. Make it make sense, Sway. Well, this is the type of thing a fuckboy would say when trying to convince a monogamous woman to accept a polyamorous relationship. Baby, I can love you all equally. You can't. You might acknowledge that it's sad, you may feel that it's wrong, but to care implies that you are willing to do the work. When is the last time you told your friends you were going to work and came back 10 seconds later after posting on Twitter? I'm done with my shift. Hashtag civil rights movement, hashtag end slavery. And Martin Luther King is somewhere rolling in his grave saying, I had a dream and you lazy Negroes had a tweet. You may say you care, but what choices are you actively making to stay informed? Are you donating your money? Are you giving your time to all these causes? Are you putting in any work for the mass majority of worldwide issues? Of course not, because you can't. You don't win a war by fighting on every frontier. You do it by picking your fights, your battles, and trusting others to handle their respective issues. Another thing is that we as a society have to accept that while the internet is a wonderful tool, it's also brought us an information overlord that has jarred our minds. The paradox of choice is an observation that many options to choose from can be an issue. Rather than making people happy and ensuring that they get what they want, it can cause them to stress. As a consequence, decision-making processes can become stalled. Well, the paradox of endless empathy is a phenomenon I came on, I came up with. It's the observation that in trying to empathize with everything often, it turns us apathetic to the world, a sort of numbing effect, if you will. I got that way very fast with a lot of issues, whether it be police shootings, whether it be mass shootings, whether it be um, to just stories on the news in general. I just became numb after some time because you just see it always and so often. And while this might seem terrible, it's also like a very like natural survival instinct. You know, it's like um, I used to have this guard when I lived in Ethiopia. <clears throat> he used to walk around everywhere barefoot and I'm like it's not like these are paved roads you know these are rocky spots and he he had the biggest feet I'd ever seen in my life like it's like the Amer opposite of like an American bodybuilder you know like they're all like upper body and, and no legs he was all feet and no body you know he was super Ethiopian in a way but he had like these thick calluses on the bottom of his feet and the reason being is that he walked on rocks for so long his body naturally adapted and he couldn't feel his feet anymore like you could put a needle inside and he wouldn't feel it I feel like our relationship with a lot of worldly issues is very similar Assimilating all this suffering has made us cynical. It's convinced us that the world is going to end despite the fact that we're in a better place today than we were 15, 80 years ago. You know, where our grandparents opened up the local newspaper and heard about issues within their country, we now open our phones at every day and hear about suffering on a global scale. It's too much and we're not coping well. Rather than accept this, we project our inability to cope onto others, shaming them for not showing the dedication to causes we often can't do much for ourselves. Or worse, we expect them to dedicate themselves to causes we hold dear and if they don't, we pass judgment whilst not acknowledging that we ourselves have ignored causes important to other people. Yes, but Palestine is a genocide. In Yemen, 130,000 people have died in the last year or so. In Ethiopia, an ethnic cleansing is underway as we speak. In China, Uyghurs are being erased off the face of the earth. And in case you forgot, we're in the middle of a pandemic, which has not only shifted our lives completely, but also claimed millions of people's lives. Tragedy is all around us, and I'm not talking about TikTok videos or my hairline or anything like that. It is a constant everywhere we look. Every day people are dying, and we're all affected to different degrees depending on our proximity to the issue. But to sit there and say, mine is more important so you should care, is incredibly arrogant. To claim your tragedy should take precedent. On whose authority? Who said you hold the high ground on virtue, Obi-Wan? Y'all are tiring, and your virtue signaling is so toxic you could compete with Chernobyl. Honestly, even writing this piece has been exhausting. Maybe it's because I'm out of fucks to give. Maybe I'm the problem and everyone else is more virtuous than I. And if so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I don't give a shit about the tragedy that you're going through. And that hurts. That's probably insensitive. But since so many of you don't want to... Since so many want to hear my thoughts on things that I never cared about, here it is. I don't give a shit. 
And this doesn't mean I want you to fail. This doesn't mean I want people to be hurt. This doesn't mean that I want things to go terribly for folks. It just means that whether things go well or not, I'll probably feel indifferent. And I refuse to pretend otherwise. So yeah, I guess I don't know. I'm, I'm too busy um, cleaning my room. <laughs> so, you know, if you want to stick around, you know, or if you don't want to stick around and subscribe, I understand. That's fine. It's cool. You're right. Uh, but if you do, then, you know, we'll keep talking about titty meat and fucking simps and whatever. And that's it. Other than that, I guess, uh, you know, hashtag free Palestine. What are your thoughts? Essentially, this channel is really just things that we want to talk about. It's what it is. At the bottom of it, it's things that we, the two names on this channel, Abba and Preach, want to talk about. We don't have to, we don't have to, have to talk about anything. We don't have to, it's not a, a we don't have a job, we don't have an employer, we don't have to, it's not something. When you send us a topic, know that it's a suggestion. We don't have to talk about it. If you want to talk about it, we will. That's all that that is. Things that we want to talk about. We've turned down numerous TV opportunities and collabs with other shows just for the freedom of wanting to talk about what we want to talk about when we want to talk about it. What we want to do is dope shit and things that we want to do. That's it. That's what this channel is. It's not the news network. It's not your local news network that is linked to the government. It's none of that. They, they have a job to do as a journalist. They have something to do to inform, to find the truth. That's what they do. News outlet. I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. We're entertainers. Before anything. And if it happens to be serious, then it's going to be serious. And if it happens to be funny, well, that's what we do. We entertain. But we are under no obligation to do anything and to talk about anything. Even if they're close to us. We've said that before. We'll repeat it right now. There's some things going on in Haiti. There's some things going on in Ethiopia. We didn't talk about it. We don't have to talk about all these subjects. Someone not talking about something, someone not posting a square, a black square, a blue square, a red square. Uh, I am, je suis Charlie, uh, je suis la France, je suis la Belgique. Just doesn't change anything. It makes you feel better. Doesn't mean that they care. That's what I gotta say. Mm. You know, for those of you at home who are feeling a tremendous amount of anxiety, because of the fact that there's so much going on everywhere, you know, understand it's not your responsibility to take everything on. It's not. And you can't. And you're not doing a good job by trying to. All you do is you spread yourself thin. You spread yourself thin, and then you end up not contributing at all in any kind of meaningful way. I thought about it for a long time about my indifference to certain things and i realize it's just basically a simple survival mechanism i just there's too much input and so you have you 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 end up becoming numb to certain things i'm not saying it's a good thing i'm not saying it's bad i don't know it's just something that i really live and you know maybe none of y'all are not maybe you guys feel everything all the time i'm not that way essentially i just don't want you guys thinking that you have to do all of this um i don't think it's healthy nor do i think it's manageable and um this is a real world, you know, phenomenon. The idea that people consume too much news so they start to feel like real anxiety and depression. That's real. That's real. And so, you know, especially us as creators, we get sent every tragedy in the world all day long. The worst things, the worst people. We get sent to us every single day. Because I think everybody wants us to echo whatever it is that they're feeling. And, you know, the only way for me to manage my mental health as well is to say no to certain things. Um, and so... You know, if you're if you're one of those people who's like, yo, people, I feel like you're ignoring my, hey, listen, I don't wish that on anybody. Um, but there are just certain things I have to protect. And uh, I, I wanted to write this because I 
people were trying to make me feel bad about telling the truth. You know, what I'm saying is just a very real reflection of, of the reality of our of our planet, Dad. of the people that live on it. If everyone cared about everything, everything would get solved. People don't care, not because they're unaware. A lot of the time, they just don't want to be informed. They don't want to look into it. You actively trying to not learn about something is also a choice. So understand, whether you get mad at me or not, that's the truth of our world. And if you want to get mad at the world, get mad. That's you know, ugly. but if you're just mad at me because I'm the messenger for that, then whatever it is, what it is. Well, but, it's hard. It's hard to, to to get mad at the world, right? Yeah. And not because you said that. Yeah. You're the face of that. Exactly. So it's easier to get mad at you yeah. than to get mad at society and every single people in the society. <laughs> now the thing is that happened with that truth is that it's ugly. It's ugly. Yo, and some people they really they rather have a beautiful light and an ugly truth. Yeah. Is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. So, anyways, that's why I wrote that. Um, and uh, yeah. Well written. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. We want to hear your thoughts. You guys agree, disagree, whatever. Let us know. Well written. And also, I don't care. I <laughs> don't